Hello everyone, my name is Alana B. Welcome to my channel. I read 12 self-help books. I didn't play games. I found myself intrigued. I had a great experience there and I helped other people who were having troubles too. I went there to learn and get the most out of it that I possibly could. One of the nicest things to ever occur to me. After the stint, Frank continued, he attends meetings twice a week. Frank expressed his desire to resume work on the History Channel series, saying, I'd still like to get back to my job. I miss my friends and my people, being on the road, and meeting all those different characters. But Mike immediately made it known that Frank had been let go from the show. Longtime friends Frank and the U.S. son already acknowledged that they had a falling out. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, American Picker, and stay with us. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And give this video a like up. Frank, 59, has been recovering at a rehab center since being hospitalized following a stroke on July 14. On August 18, Frank's pals requested an urgent appointment as the star's temporary guardian and conservator, stating that his decision-making capacity is so damaged. Midwestone Bank, Frank's conservator, submitted an initial financial management plan on November 11. The U.S. Sun has exclusive knowledge that the scheme was approved on November 21 by a judge in Iowa. According to his 2021 tax return and the plan, according to the U.S. Sun, Frank had an annual income of just $60,000 from investments at the time of his stroke. Frank had no debt and was unemployed. He incurs monthly expenses of $28,292, with $22,832 going toward in-home health care. The singer will have to pay $273,984 a year just for health care. Frank was given plans from Midwestone Bank to assist in covering his high medical expenses. Assets will be invested to begin producing income for Mr. Fritz, according to the court documents. The conservator intends to leave things substantially as they are now, despite not having inventoried all of Frank's numerous antiques and treasures. In order to integrate Mr. Fritz into management decisions as he continues to rehabilitate, the conservator will cooperate with the guardian. Frank will have access to a checking account with a small balance for personal use. If the protected person is qualified, the conservator will also try to file for disability income for the protected person. Frank is the owner of the Illinois antique shop Frank Fritz Finds. Mr. Fritz is a well-known collector and has multiple outbuildings full of priceless treasures, according to the initial plan submitted by conservator Midwestone Bank. Those artifacts have not yet been inventoried, but the conservator intends to leave them mostly in their current state with the exception of occasionally refilling Mr. Fritz's antique shop in Savannah, Illinois. The conservator hopes that Frank will be able to take part in the item selection and pricing process like he did in the past. On July 14, a friend discovered Frank on the floor of his Yoa home, and he was sent to the hospital for a stroke. The U.S. Sun originally stated that guardianship and conservatorship would be appointed temporarily for Frank. Mr. Fritz's decision-making capacity is so compromised as a result of his stroke that he is unable to care for his own safety or to provide for needs such as food, shelter, clothes, or medical care, without which bodily injury or illness may ensue, the filing stated. Mr. Fritz's ability to make and explain decisions is severely compromised, making it impossible for him to handle his own financial affairs. In the court documents, a medical expert's exhibit was used as proof that Frank does not have decisional capacity. The court documents continued. Decisions must be made regarding Mr. Fritz's placement and care while he recovers and is receiving medical attention for his injuries. To protect him from immediate risk, a guardian and conservator must be appointed. The petitioner asked that Frank's guardian be a different longtime friend who has been assisting him in decision-making since the stroke. 
The conservator for Frank's financial affairs is the bank. Both the guardian and conservator receive judicial approval. Since his discharge from the hospital on September 6, Frank has been receiving treatment in a rehabilitation facility. Frank's Yoa farmhouse must have ramps and handles for the toilet and shower by the time he is released from the rehab facility. The Guardian will help Frank with his Crohn's disease treatment and physical therapy that is ongoing. Along with doing the food shopping and cooking for the former American Pickers star, he will also get Frank to any activity he feels up to. Frank last featured on American Pickers in an episode from March 2020, when he took a break to recover from back surgery that left him with two rods in his spine and 185 stitches. Frank shed 65 pounds while he was off the show. He also disclosed to the U.S. Sun that he spent 77 days in rehab in Yoa for alcoholism. I went to treatment, and I've been clean for 11 months, Frank previously stated. I no longer enjoyed drinking. My mother was an alcoholic, and alcoholism was a factor in her death five years ago. My grandfather passed away because of his alcoholism. I didn't agree with that at all. They gave me a lot of material, and we were scheduled for 13 or 14 hours a day, Frank recalled of his time in treatment. There was no lounging around eating or watching television. All throughout the day, you had appointments planned for an hour and then an hour and a half. They spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with you. In that time, 